Let's take a look at the evolution of work-life balance. Work-life balance needs in organizations have evolved. The roots go back to the 19th century when workers in unions successfully campaigned against long working hours in factories, and it became apparent that a decrease in working hours had no significant impact on production. In 1938, the U.S. government introduced the Fair Labor Standards Act with a maximum workload of 44 hours per week. And in the 1980s, companies began to introduce family-friendly policies such as telecommuting and flexible work schedules. Today, work-life balance is recognized as a major issue. The implementation of family-friendly policies in organizations may ultimately enhance both male and female employee performance at work. Many workplace challenges like stress, absenteeism, retention, ill health, and low morale can be seen as byproducts of a poorly managed work-life balance. Work-life balance can be understood as an individual having sufficient control and autonomy over where, when, and how they work to enable them to fulfill their responsibilities both inside and outside paid work. The business case is recognized by weighing up the costs and benefits of introducing work-life balance policies and determining if the net impact is positive. There are numerous benefits, including reduced absence and pressure, better recruitment and retention rates, and more worker satisfaction and efficiency, which in turn may have a healthy effect on business outcomes. Such programs may not only improve financial performance and productivity, but also reduce operational cost.